Hey everybody, um, going to be a short little video this one. I've just spotted uh, an odd thing happen with my new bench multimeter. Uh, I was in the process of um, sorting out a transformer for, for a small power supply that I'm building. Um, I, I was just wanted to double check the windings on this, uh, so I was using the resistance uh, on my multimeter to uh, just double click, check which windings were which and the multimeter started doing odd things so um, I just want to show you what it's doing and invite any comments or um, thoughts on what is actually happening here. Right let's uh, have a look at this on the bench. Right so uh, what we've got here is a small uh, toroidal uh, transformer, uh, we've got the primary windings and the secondary. Now I was measuring the primary windings, um, I've actually got uh, it's actually made up of two because you can run this on 120 volt as well, so they're just connected together. So I was just uh, double checking what I'd done uh, with my Keysight um, U3401A and um, it, uh, it started showing odd, uh, odd figures on the display. So um, and it's fairly reproducible and only seems to happen with... Um, I, only, I've, I don't have many transformers, I've only got a couple that are bare like this that I can, I can play about with um, and this is the only one it seems to do it on, so um, it's a bit of an odd one. Uh, so let's turn this on and I'll show you exactly what is happening. The multimeter turned on, it's in volts at the moment, so if we turn this to resistance um, it uh, defaults to be in auto ranging. So I've just got one lead connected up to uh, one side of the uh, primary and if I take the resistance we've got 210 ohms which is correct. Now if I take this off it now flicks to minus 1.10 sort of permanently biased. Um, seems a bit, a bit odd. Um, if I then flick this to the diode test it's reading minus 0.4893 volts, which obviously isn't right. Go back to the uh, resistance and it's still still there. If I go to DC volts and then back again, it does reset back to where it should be. I'll read almost zero. And on this one, 210 again, let go and bang it's gone weird again. Now aside from this um, the multimeter seems to work absolutely perfectly. Now presumably this is uh, this is some kind of inductive issue going on here but uh, it's not something I've ever seen before um, but I'd be interested to know if if this happens on other multimeters or it's something that you have to watch out for. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, I'd welcome any comments, thoughts on what's happening here and if it's anything to worry about, could this be faulty? Okay, uh, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video.